watching my win. I practice 31. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, everybody. Ernie Johnson here alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. Tonight, it'll be the Atlanta Hawks going up against the Cleveland Cavaliers at Quicken Loans Arena. And for Cleveland, they struggled in this matchup last season. Only one win for them through four games. They'd like to make a statement tonight. And here we are, opening night of the new NBA season. Every club at this point can be optimistic. Some teams just looking to make the playoffs, others with much higher aspirations, Kenny. Yeah, well, some people would say that you can start with a clean slate. But then certain people are saying, we're building off of last year. So this is a continuation. But whatever happened last year to some of those teams who didn't get their, reach their goals, they just can wash it out and start. But there are certain teams saying, yes, we are who we were last year and watch who we are this year. You want to come out the gate strong. Ernie, I think we're in for an exciting year. And it was a pleasure seeing you in San Tropez on, on our vacation. <laughs> yes, sir. That, that's it, a nice aqua machine you it got. It was very surprising was to see not to see you there, uh, big fella too. That was, a, I was, it was not memorable. Invited. How'd uh, you like my bathing suit, Ernie? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's get it to Kevin Harlan. can taste the excitement here in the Quicken Loans Arena. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Eastern Conference battles always fun. This time it's the Cleveland Cavaliers intent on protecting home court. So Cleveland will get the first possession. Looking at the starting five for the Atlanta Hawks. Teague and Corver are the guards. Horford is out there with Paul Milson. And it's Splitter in at the center. Now here is Irving. Off target from three-point range. And if they know what's good for him, that's the way they'll defend against him every time he takes the ball into three-point territory. And you're right there, Clark, because anything less than lockdown defense on him is going to result in a triple. James outside. Off the screen. And he gets the jumper to drop. LeBron's got the scoreboard going with his first points of the night for the Cavs. T kicks to Splitter. Osgov with the steal. And now the Cavaliers. Whoa! Whoa. And guys got careless with the ball there and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attack. That's exactly the way to do it too, Kevin. Go hard to the bucket and don't let them set up the defense. And that was Kia bringing you the close up on the big time play. So it's Atlanta now following the score by Cleveland. Horver, good. How good is that? I mean, he can make a defender look foolish. At times. Teague against Irving. Puts it up. And again, it's Cleveland. 
first 130 gone here in the first quarter. Teague against Irving. Horford kicks to Corver. Outside Teague. Down low, Millsap. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. That's a pick by Love. Fires the three. He's now two for three with that miss. On defense, Cleveland. Let's send it over to Doris Burke, who caught up with head coach Mike Budenholzer. Doris? Team rebounding is something he stressed to his side, and rightfully so when you face a player that gobbles up the glass like Kevin Love. He told me that Love rebounds at an unreal rate, and his side can't take any mental breaks when it comes to boxing out on the defensive end. Love's numbers validate that fear, guys. Thanks again, Doris. The Cavaliers shooting their first shots of the night from the charity strike. And as a group, they shot 75% from the line last season. And James drills them both. Thank you, Cleveland! For Atlanta, they've gone 2 or 3 here to start out the game. Outside Millsap. Splitter against Mozgov. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. The Hawks shooting their first free throw. First trip to the line in this one. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. You know, something you can point to when you're talking about their areas of success last season, free throw shooting. Now here's James. He has six. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Feeds to Irving. Hits the three-point five. Irving's got five now. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't D him up more tightly on the perimeter. Irving against T. Horford kicks to Millsap. Outside T. To the inside. Shot is off, and it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. Yeah, but this is the team they faced and beat in the postseason a year ago. You're right, Greg. They took care of business against them in the conference finals. Now looking to do the same thing tonight. Now here's LeBron. Shot clock at six. Tries it from 19. No good off the front iron. The Hawks trail by five. Here's Teague, not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. I mean, even he was surprised to be that open. Now here's Irving. He's got five. 151 left to play in the first quarter. The three-pointer no good. The Hawks have gone three of five shooting the ball so far. Millsap. Kyrie Irving grabs the miss. The Cavaliers leading by three. Let's it go from deep. The basket is good. That's a sixth attempt in his third make. Just a great hustle play there. Energy and passion. This is what you play the game for. calls their first time out of the game. You know, obviously, you, you know, there's some things out there he does not like and wants to talk it over. Well, Greg, you've played, and you uh, envision yourself as a coach as well. So, you know, sometimes uh, you need to make some adjustments. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Cavaliers. And then for Atlanta, Tabo Cephalosha has checked in for splitter. Hardaway comes in for Kyle Korver. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for T. Now here is Hardaway. Pass to Schroeder. Picked by Horford. Schroeder kicks to Cephalosha. 
and good as it just snugs right down through the net. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good, the screen was solid, but you also have to look at the fact that the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. Now here's Williams. From outside, off the mark. Got a good look, though. I thought that was going to go down. Yeah, the D, though, just enough to bother the rhythm on that one, Clark. Schroeder kicks to Millsap. To the paint. And the dunk by Horford. You know, he's not your typical NBA center in terms of height, guys, but he plays as big as any of them, thanks to his incredible bounce ability. Here is Williams. Pass to Verizhao. The screen from Thompson. Verizhao's shot is good. Verizhao's got his first two points. Very well executed pick to give him all kinds of space to get that one off. Jefferson with some nice D. The Cavaliers leading by four. Outside Williams. Again, the miss by Williams. Ill-advised shot there, Clark. Yeah, exactly. That was lower than low percentage. And that does it for the first quarter. Cavaliers ahead. They lead by four. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. Head coach David Blatt beginning his NBA career after a long and illustrious career coaching over in Europe. He talked about the difference coaching abroad. There's just a lot more practice time. And when the games come, you're still playing two, maximum three times a week. You know, here you could be playing four or five times a week, and your practice time is going to be limited, and your ability to uh, change things is going to be limited. You know, adjustments can and will be made and should be made, but you've got to be a lot more pointed. One of the most successful American coaches in European basketball. You shouldn't be afraid to take more often. The Hawks trail by nine. Here's Schroeder. To the inside, and it's slammed in by Millsap. Now that's finishing your work right there. Powerful two-hand jam, you're right. And I tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will start shrinking even further. Now here's LeBron, 12 points for him. Now here's Irving, there's the pick. Passes it to Williams. Puts up a three. Here's Thompson, and he goes in for the jump. And, and Kevin, plays like that are really the reason they've got a nice lead right now. Just a great job on the glass. And, Greg, the jam and the follow gets their whole bench jumping. <laughs> Clark, look at them. They are really into it. Yeah, they sure are. And that's a little salt in the wound there. I mean, they take a miss and turn it into one of the plays of the game. That hurts. And so it's Atlanta with it, following the score by Cleveland. Schroeder kicks to Horford, and there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. It's going to go on Tristan Thompson. The Hawks have made four free throws from the line and missed two. The first free throw is good. Both teams deciding to change it up. Horford drops them both. There's 18 seconds left to play here in the third. James outside. This is Demazgo. From eight. The shot no good. And we've reached the end of the third. Cleveland ahead. They're up by seven. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. Hello. 
Hello and thanks for joining us, folks. The fourth quarter of play should begin momentarily. The Cavaliers leading by seven. Going out the wings, it's Shepard and LeBron. Down low, it's Love and Mozgov. And it's Williams at the one. That's the five for Cleveland right now. And if they know what's good for him, that's the way they'll defend against him every time he takes the ball into three-point territory. And you're right there, Quar, because anything less than lockdown for defense on him is going to result in a triple. And that's another assist for a team that is putting on a clinic on how to share the ball. And I love the mentality that they've had. If a shot isn't there, they're not forcing it. They're moving it side to side until they finally get the one they want. Now here's Teague after LeBron James's miss. The dish to Horford. Horford with the screen on Williams. Corver kicks to Teague. Picked by Horford. Five on the clock. The three. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. Cavaliers leading. Ahead, here's Shepard. Flushes it down to finish the break. Easy to see who's going to win that race. Yeah, early offense is often easy offense. Excellent work that time. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. T kicks to Cephalosha. Picked by Horford. From the stripe. Mozgov grabs the board. Great looking defense, really, just to disrupt the rhythm on that shot. Yeah, really turned it from a simple, straightforward look into a very difficult shot. Now here's LeBron. Another miss by James. T dishes to Cephalosha. Got that one, and the Cleveland lead has been cut down now to just five on the bucket from Jeff T. That's a brain freeze right there from the entire defense. Now is not the time to lose your focus. Timeout called Cleveland. Yeah, maybe a change of the game plan right now, looking at some different sets because of the matchups. Yeah, I agree with you because they're looking to tweak things to maybe get those matchups working in their favor. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. That last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what David Blatt said to the team. He said, we are this close to finishing them off, but the job is not done yet, and I don't want to see any let up out there. We'll see how well his point got across, guys. Irving's checked in for the Cavaliers. Paul Millsap's checked in for the Hawks. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. T. Mozgov with the block. Now, Cleveland moving it up. Irving with it. He's picked up by Milson. James sets the screen for Irving. Terrific design on the pick one, and he lays it in. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Cavaliers. You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet of their excellent defense. I mean, leaving them no room to get off any shots. Yeah, but they've been offensive defensively tonight because they've really forced the issue on D and come up with quite a few steals and deflections. Just five on the clock. And T, here we go. That doesn't go in either for T. It has not been an easy quarter for him, at least offensively speaking. Irving from long range, and he gets the bucket. And now a 10-point Cavalier lead. There you go. That's the stroke we saw in the first half. Outside T shoots the three. Good. T's got five points now in the quarter. He is pouring it on in the second half, guys. I mean, a much better showing than he had before the break. James and a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike shot, two. gentlemen. What a game for LeBron. 12 points and a couple of great looking rejections. So far, two blocks. Yeah, you know, he's had a great feel for their ball movement down low and for where to be when the shot's going up. LeBron James. And the first one blocks. And he makes the first, but misses the second. The Hawks trail by eight. Corver kicks to T. 
Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Back to Corver, kicks it to Splitter, takes the 13-footer. Cavaliers with the rebound. James has got his third rebound tonight. Mozgov sets a screen for James. Takes the three. The Cavaliers again can't hit. Atlanta's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. To the inside. Shot is good, and the Cavaliers lead cut down now to just six in the basket for Millsap. The defense has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. And I'd be interested to know just how many of these attempts have come from inside of five feet. Now here's LeBron. Rejected by Millsap. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. Thompson, he's checked in for Cleveland. Tristan Thompson. The Hawks call timeout. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. It's this simple, guys. No rebounds. 26. No rings. A minute 42 left in the fourth. We need to dominate the glass. Biggs, get the ball off the rim and get it out to our guards so we can get out in transition. A minute 42 left here in the fourth quarter. Teague against Irving. 13 feet away. Good on that shot. And with that, the Cavalier lead is cut down now to just four points with the basket from Jeff Teague. Teague against Irving. Let's it go with a three. Goes back up and fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. At the line, New York Cavaliers, Tristan Thompson taking two shots. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. And, and he just garnered a little bit more insurance there. Very confident as he's able to go up and knock those down. Atlanta calls timeout. They're down by six. One eleven left in the game. Side T. One oh four left in the fourth. The three from Corver. Shot is off, and Cleveland will come the other way. And here is Irving from deep three point range. Sinks it. What range from outside? Wow! And the Cavaliers lead by. Then knocks down the jump. That was just an amazing play. I mean, you talk about making him reach for thin air. Wow. Now here's Corver. Teague, the pass to Horford. They get it back. Splitter. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. And that put back about as easy a bucket as you're going to get. Exactly what happens when you don't box out, Greg. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. James outside. 
Shot clock at five. But Trey, no good. T, no good. So we see the Cavaliers get the win here. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans, but Clark, in the end, everyone satisfied. Yeah, you know, it looked like for a moment there, the outcome was in doubt, but give them a lot of credit for hanging tough, persevering, and finishing strong. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sideline. Doris? Yes, I'm here with Kevin Love, and Kevin, a very big effort to come away with this game. What does it mean to the resiliency of this team to pull out a win like this? Uh, we're just giving ourselves a chance to win. So, I mean, we're really just grinding it out as much as we possibly can. We're getting better every day. So, we're happy we got this win. I got to get it all to my teammates and my coaches. Hard work pays off, Kevin. Great job. Guys, back to you. Doris, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And coming up next, the postgame show with Ernie Johnson, Shaq, and Kenny the Jet. The 2K Sports postgame show. Ernie Johnson here again with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny Smith. Without further ado, let's present to you our Jordan player of the game, Kyrie Irving. Anytime you deliver that sort of production we saw from him tonight, you're going to put your team in position to win. He gave them points in bunches and when they needed them. It's not always about how much you get, but when you get those points up on the board. Kyrie, who, I mean, you know, this dude is a composed, mature leader. Along with all that mental strength, he's got such an incredible feel for the game. He runs the floor, he passes beautifully, and he can shoot from the lights out from anywhere on the court. And that's it for our broadcast here tonight. But we're just getting started on a new season in the NBA. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. We'll see you again.